What is a protected area? Protected areas go by many names. National parks, game reserves, national monuments, wildlife refuges, wildlife sanctuaries, national forests, conservation areas, sacred sites, landscapes, biosphere reserves, heritage sites, and conservancies are all types of protected areas. IUCN defines protected area as a clearly defined geographical space recognized, dedicated and managed through legal and other effective means to achieve the long-term conservation of nature with associated ecosystem services and cultural values. This definition contains several elements important to understanding protected areas. Protected areas require a clearly defined geographical space. Protected areas can cover land, sea, inland waters or some combination. They should protect three-dimensional space including airspace, subsoil and the water column. In all cases, the boundaries should be clearly defined. Protected areas can be recognized in many ways. By governments, international bodies, communities, indigenous groups, organizations or individuals. Protected areas should be dedicated to conservation through a binding commitment, such as an international treaty, law, certification scheme, contract or agreement, or customary form of dedication. Protected areas should be managed to achieve conservation. Management should follow internationally recognized best practices, such as the ecosystem approach, the precautionary approach, promotion of connectivity, good planning practices, adherence to conservation objectives and consideration of particular threats. Protected areas can be recognized, dedicated and managed under formal or statutory legal systems or other effective means such as customary law, community practice or private procedures or rules. Many protected areas are effectively managed or governed by private organizations indigenous groups or local communities. The primary objective of protected areas is long-term conservation of nature. Protected areas can also support multiple resource uses, ecosystem services and cultural values that do not interfere with the aim of nature conservation. What is law and why does it matter to protected areas? Law is essential to creating and maintaining successful protected areas. Law describes a body of rules governing human conduct, recognized as binding and enforced by a public authority. Law exists at many levels, including international, national, provincial or state, and local or community levels. Law can be expressed through treaties, legislation, constitutions, judicial cases, decrees, religious doctrine or customary practice. Not all law is written. Different countries have different legal systems. Many countries have multiple legal systems that operate side by side. For example, a country may have statutory law passed by a legislature, religious law determined by religious courts, and customary law administered by traditional authorities. The country may also be subject to international law obligations under a treaty. The existence of multiple overlapping legal systems is called legal pluralism. Most countries have bodies of law that directly address protected areas. This can include law on protected areas, environmental protection, biodiversity, wildlife, wilderness, forests, coastlines, lakes, seas, and land use. Many other areas of law are also relevant to protected areas, including law on indigenous rights, communities, property, agriculture, livestock, pollution, chemicals, mining, water, development, taxation, natural disasters, health and sanitation, criminal offenses, and trade. 
laws that define the structure of government, create processes for decision-making, and establish procedural rules for resolving disputes are also very important in the context of protected areas. All people involved in or affected by protected areas should have a basic capacity to understand and engage with these many levels, forms and areas of law. This is the concept of legal literacy. Main messages. Protected areas are a vital tool for conserving and maintaining the Earth's biological resources and ecosystems. No protected area will be secure over time without a supportive legal and policy framework. Legal literacy is essential for effective management and protection of protected areas.